So in one of my previous videos, I talked to you about the Go Labs and how I was intrigued about that. This AC50, I'm confused. What's up y'all, this is I from Ask I Solar, where I like to keep solar simple. This AC30, I don't know who Blue Eddie made this for. It's a really weird thing. Now, let's start from the beginning. I'm kind of comparing this to the Golabs R300, which was $200. It's no longer $200, you know, what are you gonna do? Stuff changes. It had a $100 coupon and that dropped it down to $200. Then I saw the AC30 by Blue Eddie, and that was $240 with a $40 coupon. So that essentially dropped it down to $200. And um, I was starting to look at that like, man, hmm. That one's life pole also, but it's a it has a weird series of features and drawbacks. It seems the the only thing I can find that is a pro for this device in the two hundred dollar space is the fact that it charges at one hundred and fifty watts. The GoLabs charges at sixty. Both of them come with power adapters that only produce 45 watts, but that wasn't a hang up for me on the Go Labs. Um, I strongly considered the Go Labs because I was going to charge it from solar. But I think I lost my way <laughs> with being interested in devices. So the AC30 charges at 150 watts, and the main thing that I'm interested in solar, considering my budget is pass through charging. So I want to be able to get as much solar into the device so that I can pull power from the device. But who is this thing for? It comes with a 45 watt wall adapter to charge up 300 watts of power, 300 watt hours of power. It doesn't charge via cigarette lighter or 12 volt and it gets 150 watts of solar. So they position this thing as being a, I shouldn't say they, most people look at it as though it's a beginner friendly power station. For what kind of beginner? If someone's into solar, they probably have solar panels. Let's say they have one 100 watt solar panel. Cool, you pair this with it, and then you can charge it at probably about 80 to 90 watts, depending on the efficiency and the quality of your panel. But they don't put the solar cable in the box. Why? 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 Why would you do that? <laughs> the main selling point of this device is one, it's life pool batteries. I get that. But the two is the solar input and you don't put the cable in the box. Like what, what are we doing here? And okay, so let's say you're an RVer or a car camper, whatever they call those people. I know what they call them. I'm just blinking at the moment. Van lifer. You cannot charge it from the car, uh, the cigarette lighter. Just like what, what is going on here? Now, the big question is, is there a person out there that this benefits? And that person would be me. I mean, I, I, I want to be able to charge from solar. I already have solar panels. If I was to buy something like this, I would have to buy the cable, which sucks. I hate that about it. Oh, the display. The display doesn't give you any input, any output. It's like a super basic device with no real customer. I, I, I don't... I, I'm confused. I am truly confused. Now, if I was to get it, I have solar panels. I would probably put two panels in parallel. I'm using a parallel cable and then I would um, get 150 watts from it on a sunny day. That's perfect. I think it's an ideal little device for that. But what beginner is going to get two panels, put them in parallel, buy the cable to charge this particular device. It just doesn't make any sense. Then it doesn't have quick charge. It has like, it doesn't have power delivery. Let me be specific. As a USB-C port, but it maxes out at 18 watts. I'm just like, dude, what, what are they? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blown at this device. I, I really don't know <laughs> what people would get out of this. I mean, it's LiPo. It has uh, probably one to 2,000 charge cycles. That's great. It has 150 watts of solar input. That's great. But this power adapter being rated at 45 watts, no car charging, at which would be at up to about 100 watts or something, just based on your car's ability to push amperage through. It's a little too basic for most people. I, I don't... The only real selling point is the fact that it has a coupon for $199 and then it's life post so it'll last you a very long time. Blue Eddy is a reputable company 
and they seem to be doing right by their customers in some capacity. It's not like they're just going to be a company that kind of pops up, sells you a device, and then is out of business in, you know, two years or so. Now, the, here's the thing. The Go Labs and the AC30 are almost like the perfect device if you put them together. So I pass the question off to you. What do you think about the Blue Eddy AC30? If you saw my video about the R300, which one would you pick? And who is this thing for? I, I'm just, I'm confused. Maybe I'm looking at it too technically or you know, something, but I don't know, man. It's I've holla.